Hello, June 27, 2016. I'm doing a math babbler bit. June 2016, the number one uh, ranked supercomputer in the world was benchmarked at 93.0146 petaflops. Uh, we have to rewind all the way back to June 2008. Uh, the number one supercomputer in the world was benchmarked at 1.026 petaflops. This is sort of when we entered the petascale era of supercomputing. And what we want to do is we want to create uh, a function that will enable us to kind of predict when we hit a thousand petaflops or exascale. We're going to assume that supercomputing has been growing at an exponential rate, so we're going to come up with an exponential function uh, so that we can answer our question here. First thing we do is we uh, calculate the growth from June 2008 to Ju June 2016 as taking the ratio of the current benchmark and dividing it by the initial benchmark. That gives us this number here. Now uh, we want to basically annualize this, so we're going to take that number and raise it to the 1 8th power because this is the growth that was experienced over the span of eight years. If we take the eighth root of 90.6575, we get 1.75661. Uh, this is going to be the growth factor uh, for our exponential function. And it works out to be a growth rate of about 76% a year. So uh, we have the two pieces of information that we need for our exponential function. So we substitute in our initial value, which was the petaflops back in 2008. Substitute in our growth factor, raise it to the t power. We're going to uh, assume that this growth factor will remain constant until 2024. So the domain for our function are t values that are greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 16. Where 0 represents the year 2008, uh, t of 1 is 2009, t of 2 is 2010, uh, t of 16 would be 2024. So now we're prepared to answer our question, when will we hit 1,000 petaflops? Well, we replace f of t, the output, with what we're looking for, a thousand. And uh, now we have to solve for t. A common way of doing a problem like this is to switch from this exponent notation to log notation. The growth factor becomes the base of the log, and then the input to the log is the output divided by the initial value. And if you go ahead and evaluate this expression, that's going to equal t, which in this case evaluates to 12.2157. Well, this output is 12 years from 2008 plus some fraction of a year. And I, ca I calculated the 0.2157 to be approximately 79 days. Uh, you know, 0.21 is less than a fourth, so we're talking three months here approximately. So we take the base year 2008, uh, add 12 to it, and then uh, tack on the remainder. And so our answer is uh, mid-March 2020 is when we might hit exascale computing. And I just uh, know, uh, realized that I should have mentioned that when we calculated our t-value, that the t-value did fall within the domain of our function. So that means that we will hit a thousand you know, before the year 2024, because this is a valid input. Uh, and again, you know, this is all based on the assumption that this growth factor is going to remain constant uh, for the next few years. If the growth factor were to grow, increase, then we'd hit exascale computing sooner. If this factor were to decay or decrease, well then it will take us longer to get to X scale computing. I think I'm done. And moving.